and let's record. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's the fifth map and uh, this is quite a cool final to be honest. We are still casting the Zotic Cup monthly final and uh, right now we have a Beastie Cutie against Bly which is the final series in today's tournament. We have a best of five and as you can see in the overlay the series is tied two to two so this is the final and last map. It is Shakur's Plateau. At the bottom right we have Beastie Cutie starting as the Terran player in the blue colors while his opponent is starting at the bottom left and right now uh, this is a little bit weird because Beastie Cutie he was down 2-0 he lost the first two games and uh, Bly was able to surprise him not only once with his early aggression and the Terran player was quite greedy the first few games but by now he adapted to Bly's style he adapted to Bly's style and this resulted in the last two games being won by Beastie Cutie so he carries the momentum into this game. He carries the last two one maps, the last victories with him into this match. And uh, the main question is right now, has Bly the mindset to get back into the series to decide this game in his favor? Or will Beastie Cutie now take the third game in a row and decide the whole best of five in his, uh, well, decide the win, win the whole best of five and therefore the tournament itself. So we have the hatchery being built for Bly right now as the first building obviously while well, Beastie Cutie just sends out his scout as building his gas and uh, the overlord scouts the spawning position of uh, the Terran player in the blue colors. And we have obviously also extractor, drone and therefore a little bit of a greedy play by Bly which will pay off because we had not have this early aggression from Beastie Cutie. He doesn't go for anything like he did on Metalopolis with a, a barracks at 9 supply, the double barracks play. So Bly can get away with a little bit of a greedy opening with uh, delaying his spawning pool a bit and therefore focusing more on his economy. He already has uh, 16 to 15 harvesters and the hatch is about to finish the next few seconds on oh uh, he knows about the uh, yeah he knows already about the bunker building a bunker at the bottom won't do him any good the drone already sent out to take on the SCV at the same time we have a marine on its way but well this bunker play won't do anything at all so yeah Bly is taking it easy right now two queens are being built and that one marine looks a little bit helpless it's like yeah well hi I'm, I'm here too so what can I do for you but uh, well he needs to build a second bunker on uh, top of this cliff if he wants to be of any use so two marines you need to be a little bit careful. One Marine is already at the bottom. The thing is, as soon as the SCV is dead, it won't accumulate to anything at all. And the SCV is not dead because he just can't kill it right now. Will there be a third Marine? Actually, there won't. He's only relying on two Marines now. And uh, that would be quite annoying if this bunker actually finished. The only thing that he wants to do is throw his opponent off just a tiny little bit. Oh! <laughs> 380 of 400 HP, he has to cancel the bunker, is salvaging the other one, retreating with the two marines. Not much damage done. How many Zerglings do we have? Only the standard four Zerglings. So right now BCQD was not able to, uh, well, kind of weird out Bly. So yeah, it worked out quite in favor of Bly. 35 supply against 28. The expansion for B Security is being built, the harvest account still in favor of the Zerg player and he is adding more and more drones and wow, very very early tech once again. He's tacking it to his, ex to his hatch very early in his game. Let's see what Bly is actually up to. We have him with the scouting information that he needs, he knows about this command center and at the same time he needs to repel the Hellions. There's one uh, spine crawler in position and obviously he also has the queen to block the ramp. The Zerglings are in a position as well. He's going for double gas right now and taking a third in his main base. And there's the lair already done. He can start with his tech as soon as he wants to. He has the 200 gas that he needs to throw down at Spire and that's exactly what he's doing. That's exactly what he is doing while his opponent is just now researching Stim. Going for the first uh, for the first 
Starport. And those Mutalisks will be out so fast. The usual timing for Mutalisks is roughly the 11th minute mark. So most around players, and look at this. He is actually shitting creep onto the natural expansion of his opponent. And this is just brilliant. With this play, he will delay that orbital command quite a bit. This will delay the orbital command for so long. But it also shows his hand. It also shows his hand because now B Security is well aware of the fact that his opponent already has the lair attack and will know that he needs to prepare for a Mutalisk attack by using an engineering bay. Bly pauses the game. But yeah, as I already mentioned, this is pretty interesting because um, with a creep spread, he's now able to delay that expansion for a bit. We'll roughly take about a minute until that creep is completely gone and uh, that is awesome in this early stage of the game but at the same time he showed his hand and this is the only reason why uh, uh, BCQD is now already building this engineering bay where exactly is the engineering bay? engineering bay where are you? okay I am blind apparently I saw it already no, there it is. Okay, he's building the engineering bay and now we will see the missile turrets. And there are seven mutalisks and they... Look at the timer! This is crazy! The mutalisks are so early, they will hit the base of his opponent roughly in the, uh, 930, but BCQD knows already what's happening and he is dropping and whoa, this could be quite something. Is he taking down all of them? It certainly looks like it. All the marines are then gone. He needs to chase down those two medivacs. He needs to chase down the medivacs. Oh god, this is such an awesome start for Bly into this game. He's taking down two of the medivacs, now nah, only one of them. But still, this is horrible for BCQD. I mean, this is everything that Bly could hope for. He's getting away with that very, very fast tech. He's now just trying to get into his opponent's main base. Thank God BCQD was able to completely wall off. Bly would have been able to kill him right away if not for this. But I have to say that Bly is so far ahead right now. He can take a third base, which is exactly what he's going to do. And yep, those Zerglings take down the Hellion. And B security, he lost so much already. 1,300 resources lost, and we have all those mutalists that just are ensuring that the map control is in Bly's hand. Bly is controlling the map right now. He has access to both Selnaga watchtowers. He's poking into his opponent's main base, killing another SCV. Oh, he might be able. Yes, he's forcing a cancel on the command center, which is huge. And at the same time, we already have him at 102 supply with 62 harvesters to 34. This build is so greedy, but it works out so well against BCQD style. And he's everywhere. He's killing the mules. He's He's killing the second mule as well. Mutalisks are everywhere on this map and at the same time he's already preparing for a potential push of his opponent. We have him with a baneling nest. He's spreading his creep, getting a third. Bly is just it's such a commanding lead right now. Five workers killed, which is obviously not a lot, but still there's another attempt of BCQD to get aggressive. The Mutalisks are targeting down one marine at a time. He has enough of them to take Take on the whole lot, killing the medivac as well. He's just shutting down all the attempts of Beast Security to get aggressive. Beast Security, he can't do anything. He is forced to stay in his base, to play passive, to use most of his minerals for missile turrets right now because his opponent is just in such a good spot and uh, getting a third base will be really hard for Beast Security right now. Bly is already taking a fourth. He saturated his third base, he's getting double extractor, and he's getting 20 bailings. He's getting 20 bailings, and still he's able to snipe more of those SCVs, delaying that command center even further. And look at how often, how often BCQ you already had to stim his marines in order to deal with the mutilist pressure of Bly. This is just so brutal for BCQD right now. He has the combat shield, he has stim, he has the first siege tanks, but it's really hard for him to push out now because he knows that there is, well, 
he already knows that there is a really huge lead for his opponent and he's just scouting a little bit with his SCV, something that uh, Bly didn't realize just yet. So B Security will be aware of the fact that there are tons of drones and he might even scout the fourth base. No, he won't because the Zerking shut down the scout and uh, we have bailing speed being researched, plus one armor. He's going for the plus two attack for his Mutalisks and now the third base, the third base, the attempt to take the third base because as soon as he realizes what's happening Bly is on the move. Bly is on the move with everything he has. The siege tanks, the siege tanks siege up at the back but this orbital command, this orbital command, this won't happen. He won't get a third base. Bly will make sure that it won't happen. Another stim being forced and more and more units being built. The Overlord is finally dead but it's 170 supply against 160. Oh the Banelings! And he's baiting the Marines into the Burrow Banelings and now Bly is going in for the kill. Annihilating, annihilating Marines and Siege Tanks alike. That third base won't see the light of day. Not a single SCV mining, he's killing everything in his path. The orbital is down. B security at 77 supply against 157. Bly has tons of minerals and more. Oh, oh my god! The GG after this beautiful baneling burst, a uh, baneling mine. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Bly takes the win with 3 2 2. He wins the Zota Cup monthly final December against B security with 3 to 2. Very, very well done. Congratulations.